Now playing the history of the camera. You know, the, the first time I saw a camera was, uh, was with my father back in the 1920 World's Fair. Uh, of course, uh, back then we had no idea that those picture snappers would become so popular. <laughs> but what did they? Well, anyway. Most people didn't think much of the camera at first. But by 1970, there was an average of three cameras in every American household in the world. How did this happen? We'll find out here. In the early 20th century, American industry was booming. But that boom was a mere zigzag zoom before Professor Barry Franken revealed the invention that would change the world forever. I remember thinking, we needed something with a convex lens capable transition metal halide film and a shutter mechanism. You know, for hammering things in. And just like that, I thought it a camera. Now it's something we use without ever thinking twice about it. The camera's popularity skyrocketed like wildfire. Every man, woman, and child laborer was rushing into stores to get their hands on a camera of their own. Stop! Give it time! People had been given an easy way to hammer in nails, and they were relieved. Order in the court! This pedophile is guilty of littering. Again. But how did cameras go from being a standalone item to on our cell phones? When we return, Excuse why- Excuse me, sir, do you oh. mind? Oh, no, not at all. Thank you so much. Come on, son. Here you go, little boy. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's get this online right away. <coughs> anyway, when we return, why did cameras start using batteries? No one knows. What? In the... Oh my God! Can you guys see? The... Can you... Try to get video of this on your video camera. <laughs> 